kids across the country are getting ready to kick off the new school year, and parents want to make sure they are set for a healthy start. From sports physicals to pediatric specialty care, UI Health offers all kinds of wellness services for kids as they gear up to head back to school. Jaylene Schoner joins us with more. Thanks for being here. Well, thank you so much for yeah. having me. Okay, so I think as parents, we're also worried about getting the backpack and making mm -hmm. sure you have the supplies, yes. but you forget there are a lot of really important health-wise decisions and things that we need to be getting off our checklist. So what are the top three things that we need to focus on? Definitely. I'd recommend really just a yearly visit with your child's pediatrician or primary care doctor mm -hmm. to kind of check in, maybe hit up their growth assessment, any vaccinations that might be needed would be a second element. Some schools um, even provide parents with like a little list of what their child might be missing. Um, and then really getting back into the swing of things with routines. And that annual appointment is so import important because I mean, there's a lot of things that the physician might flag yes. that you as a parent don't notice, right? Exactly, exactly. It's very comprehensive and growth, blood pressure, vision. Um, you know, we even do a limited, you know, dental exam looking for signs of scoliosis. There's just a whole host of things that are assessed um, and can be caught in the primary care office. And then with you guys at UI Health, you're able to take that information and then send people where they need to be sent. Yes, yes. So we have all of our pediatric subspecialty care um, within our main campus where, where I practice. Um, and so it's very convenient for families. It really feels like a, you know, a home for the patients. And I feel like a routine is important for everybody, whether you're an adult or a child, but especially if you're a kid getting ready to go back to school, Yes, they thrive on routine, you know, and predictability. And so I think as a parent, you can sort of help coach them towards that and remembering our sleep uh, habits, our screen time habits, our meal time habits, all of those things. I think the sleep time is such a big part of it too, mm -hmm. because I know parents by me are saying, oh my gosh, all yeah. summer we've been waking up yeah. <laughs> two hours later. And that has such an impact on a kid when it you're does. switching overnight. Yeah. So do you suggest we kind of taper that? I do. I suggest usually about 15 to 30 minutes okay. of um, a gradual return to our, you know, bedtime routine for the school year. And it, like you said, you get into this habit and your yeah. body gets used to that. And so trying to do it quickly doesn't quite work. <laughs> Especially for a child. Yes. yes. We, we're not ready. <laughs> I mean, it's yes. hard enough for adults, but yes. imagine your little kid yeah. is dealing with, you know, your growing body and all these changes yes. as well. And they need a lot of yeah. sleep, you know, to focus and learn at school. And so if there's snoring or other problems, that's another right. thing that could be addressed in the annual checkup. Um, speaking of the checkup, another yes. layer to this is if your kid's going to play sports, right? So oh, yes. this is an adi yes. additional screening that you can do. Yeah, anyway. so the state of Illinois does have a very kind of proscribed, you know, kind of form and thing that they require, particularly for high school athletes, because they want to make sure that they're safe. Are there any cardiac conditions, mm -hmm. you know, sort of joint issues, concussions? Those are kind of the three big things to think about. And a lot of schools, you're not even allowed to play unless yeah. you get that screening. Or even try out. Or even right. try out, yeah. Yes, I've had a few like, oh, we're going to go to baseball practice after this. Our <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah. really cutting it close. Yeah, huh? get, get that done a little ahead of time. <laughs> and then for some, I know it's the, the vision screening, yeah. the hearing, got to do all that. Dental, yeah. 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 And in Illinois, there are certain grades that that's required, and your okay. pediatrician can kind of help you navigate those ages as well. And for somebody that's watching that may be underinsured or not insured at all, right, there's programs available Definitely. to help. Definitely. So I think the great thing about UI Health is we have our main campus campus with a lot of our subspecialty care and pediatricians, but we also have our partnership with the Family Medicine Department as, as one of the providers and also Miles Square. Um, and those are federally qualified health centers that are in the community and can provide care free of charge along with vaccinations. At what point uh, in, as a doctor do you say to the parent like, uh, okay, maybe the parent goes wait and waits outside instead of being, because oh. our oh, sibling show, age? yes, because our sibling, uh, sibling show, Daytime Chicago, yes. one of the hosts, Amy Rutledge, she was yes. just saying that the doctor just asked her to wait. Her son, 14, yes, I think, 14, was that. Is that around yes. the age parents can expect So to, that's a bit, yeah, yeah, I know, and it's like the idea that yeah. soon in the next five to 10 years, they'll be adults themselves, yeah, and so, so bringing that autonomy. There we go, they grow up so fast. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Shona. Really oh, appreciate it. For more information, just head to backtoschool.uihealth.care or find them on Facebook and Instagram. Really valuable information. Thank you.